In this video, I'm going to show you how to control a Cinemachine Freelook camera using the right analog stick on a gamepad. So this will be able to give you a camera controller like I'm showing right here, which is something very similar to like Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, any of those third person open world games. Okay, so let's get started and jump right in. So here's a little project I made. It's just a simple car controller where I can control the car's movement with the left analog stick of a gamepad, but I don't currently have any camera controller set up. So you can see everything on the car movement's working, and now we just need to set up a camera. So to do that, we're gonna use a Cinemachine Freelook camera. So first thing, we just gotta import Cinemachine. So let's go to the Window menu and Package Manager and import Cinemachine. And just a note, I'm not going to be going through too much detail on what Cinemachine is and how to use the cameras in this video. This video is specifically about making the right analog stick work automatically with a free look camera. So if you do want to see a video on explaining the basics and what all these different cameras do, leave a comment below and I can make a video or a series on that in the future here. Now with Cinemachine installed, I'm going to go to the Cinemachine menu and create a free look camera. If you aren't familiar with the free look camera, it's basically like any third person open world game camera. So it lets you spin around your player or your object and zoom in and out. So Cinemachine automatically takes care of almost all of this right out of the box for us. If you look in the inspector, we have two fields here. We have a follow field and a look at. So whatever object you put in here is what the, the camera is gonna follow and look at. So let's just put the car in here. So now just to show how awesome this package is, with only doing that dragging in our car, if we run the game now, the settings aren't very good, so it's jittery and there's a lot of issues, but for the most part, we pretty much have a third person camera completely set up that we can pan around and zoom in everything right out of the box here. So the only problem is you have to use your mouse to do it currently. So it won't work with a gamepad yet. So let's clean it up a little bit. If I select the camera and then zoom in a bit here, you can see these three circles around it. So these are actually the orbits of where the camera is gonna stick to depending how zoomed in you are. So we can tweak these a bit here. They're very small and tight for a car this size. So I'm gonna increase the size and the radius on all of them here. So this means our camera, when it's zoomed out fully, it's gonna go a lot higher now. And then it's gonna stick to this line and just kind of spin around and always look at our car. So just like any third person game, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here already. So I'm just gonna play around with these settings, get something a bit more usable here, and then let's try it out now. So running the game now, it does look and feel a lot better, but notice to move the camera and to zoom in and out, we have to use the mouse here, and you, you wanna be able to use this kind of feature with a controller for most of these games. So let's get that up and working. So the way Cinemachine's getting input for this, if we look in the inspector of the camera, you see for the X and Y axis, it's actually got the input axis name. This is the name of the input on the input manager. So right now it's looking at the mouse Y and the mouse X input option. So if we go to edit, project settings, and then input manager, if we expand these, you can see this is where we have the mouse X and the mouse Y. And then you see the horizontal and vertical here, which are the input from our gamepad. So you can see it's a joystick axis. So I'm gonna right click on the horizontal and duplicate that. And what I'm gonna do is just rename this. I'm gonna put it as mouse X and make sure the spelling's exactly like the one above here. So now what's gonna happen is when Cinemachine looks for mouse X input, it's gonna see both the one from the mouse and the one from the gamepad that we're creating here because they both have the same name. So this won't cause any problems with the current mouse input. It's gonna work the same, it's only gonna add in. But to use the right stick, what we have to do is on the axis setting here, we have to actually change this to be the fourth axis. And to find which axis it belongs to, you can just do some Googling for something like Unity gamepad mappings, and you'll see a lot of documents that show what all the different joystick buttons do. You can play around with gravity, dead zone, all of those settings and the sensitivity. You can get those however you want. Those won't change the input. So now we have to do the same thing. Let's right click vertical and duplicate that. And we got to rename this one to be mouse Y. 
And then for this one, for the axis, we need to use the fifth axis. Now this is going to get the other one. So now if we run our game, it's actually working right now. You can see I can use the right analog stick and start navigating around. So I'm just going to make this full screen just so it looks a little bit better and you can see here. Okay, so running the game, I can navigate around with the left stick and actually using the right stick, it feels a little bit off. So by default, the values are probably the opposite of what you're used to. If we select that camera and these two invert checkboxes, if we rotate those, so uncheck and check the one that wasn't, now when you play it, it's rotating and zooming in just like you're used to on any third person game. But that's entirely up to you how you want to do that if you want to invert the axis or not. But there we go. We have a, a Cinemachine third person camera that we can navigate around using the right analog stick. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on it, like I said, just leave a comment below and I'll try to make a video to help out with that. Thanks for watching.